Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Freaking raining out there. Got rain on my lens. But check it out. We alluded to the fact last time that we had an incident here in the snake room. And I want to talk today about the importance of having security, probably for any place that you reside, but especially if you've got a bunch of animals. talk about the importance of it, give you some options, tell you what I use, and kind of just go over the incident. I've also got a bunch of updates to talk with you guys about. There's some cool stuff. I got this new tripod thing that can hang anywhere. I mean, I guess I can show it to you. I mean, look at that thing. How freaking cool is that? That's my microphone attached to the side of the tripod. The tripod hangs right up on, it has a little thing there so it can just hang on anywhere, and it, it's super versatile. I'm super stoked about it. Anyway, moving on. Let's take a look at this the scene first. All my stuff up here, bam, knocked down into the sink. Look at my floor. It's not usually this much of a mess in here. All this stuff all over here. All my stuff that I had up on top of that just knocked down all over the place. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to realize that what happened is we had a snake escape while we were gone in Nevada. Now, the great thing is that I, I do have security here. Oh, I, don't, I don't need that in here anymore. Lucky fact for me is that my cousin lives right down the street. So I was able to call him. Unfortunately for him, it was Marshall, our Vietnamese blue beauty snake who got out. And it's probably the least friendly snake in this entire room, if I'm being 100% honest. So we got some footage from that. Pardon the hair. Yeah, so before I show you the footage of him trying to wrangle Marshall back into his temporary enclosure, I still don't even see how he got out. How the heck did he get out? He slide right through this? He must have. It's, it's wild. That's crazy. This thing was closed. He squeezed right through that somehow. That's insane. Before I show you that, check this out. I had told you guys that we were gonna let one of the female ball pythons incubate her own eggs or, you know, keep watch over her own eggs. And that's what she's doing right here. What are you doing? Why are you, why are you leaving? It looks like she's like getting ready to head out or something. She was tightly wrapped around the last night. Maybe she just feels like they need to get a little air, but I'm just gonna leave it up to her. And the reason I picked her, she's kind of centrally located in the entire rack system. So she's kind of in the middle of the room at moderate temperature. Uh, she is the second ball python that we ever got and the first female ball python that we ever got. And she's laid several clutches. So she's experienced at this point, though she's never kept her own clutch. I just wanted to give it a go. And I think it'll be cool to see little ball pythons poking out from mama's coils once they hatch out, so yeah. There she is, that's Maya, the Coral Glow, and she was paired with our Coral Glow Pied again, so looking for some super Coral Glow Het Pieds. I'm pretty excited to see how she does. Ooh, and then the last video, all the snakes hadn't hatched out yet of the eggs, and there was one in this clutch that is just the stunner for me of the clutch. T take a look at this. Take a look at that dude right there. Look at that guy. That is, I mean, it's like some kind of spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly, uh, enchi, maybe, maybe not enchi because there's a lot of pattern going on there, but maybe, maybe GHI, maybe not, not hundred percent certain exactly what is going on with this guy, but just look, look at the sides of that snake. That is just maybe one of the most beautiful ball pythons I think we have ever hatched out here at Triple B. And wow, what a what a stunning snake, man. Look at that thing. That guy is just, look at his head. Look at the head stamp. That is just a phenomenal, phenomenal example of a ball pie. I, I'm, oh, I've dreamed of hatching out snakes like that. I mean, look at, look at the sides on that snake. That is just, that is just a wicked, wicked looking ball python. Oh my goodness. That guy is absolutely incredible. I'm so stoked we hatched that thing out here. I mean, the rest of the clutch is looking good too, don't get me wrong, but that guy just really stood out to me. I know you guys want to see that footage of my cousin wrangling Marshall. I know, we're gonna, we're gonna show it. Just one, one more thing. I'm snake sitting for my dad while he's in, uh, while he's out of the country for a couple of months. We got Slim here, his Tara Humara Mountain King Snake. Look at that, you guys have seen this before if you watch our videos, but Oh, he's such a cool snake. Look at this. Oh, Slim. Slim, you are you are a stunner. A stunning snake. There's a fly in my hair. Oh, okay, guys. Here's the footage of my cousin wrangling 
Marshall. Well, because I just called me, we got an escaped snake. So it's this particular snake's an asshole. I don't play with snakes. Not other people's snakes. Just my own snake. Let's see how this goes. Back in that corner somewhere? Oh, I see him. He's right there. Okay. He looks like an eye marshal. Yeah. Oh, he like pushed the door out. This thing slide out. Good. All right, buddy. So which part do I hook him and where do I grab him? Grab him by the tail and hook him by the head? Let's see if we can. Yeah. Well, I got him pissed off at the tongue, so that's good. All right, buddy. Just go. Not there. Freaking tongs are heavy as They are. Go home. Go home. Go home. I know, but he smells home, so he's letting go of the freaking chingadera. Yeah. Let go. Let go. Let go. Come on, let go with your tail, you freaking. safe in there, get in. Success! Alright, yeah! Not too bad, right? You did a good job. So let's, let's talk about the importance of having security. Obviously that right there. I get to watch and see in real time if I have an incident here in the snake room and get it remedied, especially if you have somebody close by that can take care of it for you like my cousin was. I mean, Marshall probably would have been fine in here unattended for a couple days, but I mean, he was only out for a matter of minutes and he managed to destroy my room and knock all my stuff over. So even this light, my big light here was knocked over. He, I don't know how he took that thing out, but he totally knocked over that entire light stand. So I just i don't know that's that's just what can happen when a snake gets out in the room so if you have any kind of valuable i mean in this day and age i don't see any reason to not have security especially if you have a bunch of animals that you need to kind of keep watch over if you happen to be out of town for a day or two um and i use the nest cam which is great i know there's like a hundred different brands out there at this point but anything where you can just monitor your camera remotely and, and get messages sent to you if the camera notices motion or hears a sound that's how i found out marshall was out immediately a little notification came right to my phone i've talked about this a long time ago i've had cameras for a long time but you never think you're going to need them until you do like i haven't used them for anything other than just like fun checking stuff out like i haven't needed to look at them actually you know we had, we had a snake get out 
um, a few months back, you know, when I accidentally left a little bit of the, the tub open just a hair and we used the cameras to find that snake. I just could not, I couldn't encourage you guys enough, strongly enough to how important it is, I think, to have cameras in your snake room. So if you've been thinking about doing it, if you've been on the fence, just don't be. You, you'll, you will have a moment where you're like, oh, I'm so glad I have these cameras here. Seeing a package arrive at your house, I mean, I've got cameras everywhere. And it's just nice to give you that peace of mind in case something goes wrong that you can see and have it covered when you can't be home. If you work away from home, if you do anything away from home, get yourself some security cameras that you can check from your phone. There, there, I said my piece. It's, if you don't do it, I don't know. It's not, I think that you will one day regret not doing it, so do it. And you can have incidences like mine nipped in the bud the second they happen. As for me, Leia and I are going on a little train trip. Just the two of us, I'm pretty excited about. She didn't want to go at first, but she's coming and we're going. So I'm pretty stoked about that little daddy-daughter trip. Maybe guys, give you guys a couple little clips of that in this video. So right before we left on that train trip, I dropped this drum on my toe. So that made the trip extra interesting, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. What are you most excited about taking this train trip? What's the most driving. Driving the train? <laughs> oh, it's so far away. And it's big. Woohoo! <laughs> so, Daddy. Daddy. Where are we going to dance? We're going to go see Grandma and Grandpa and your cousins. Everybody. Auntie Cheryl. It's so much fun. Before they fly away. Before they fly away. 